Right, I'm going to let you read all this because I'm okay, now so. Well, I don't know about you, Christy, but I couldn't do my uh, washing without a machine. So you don't even do your own washing. <laughs> <laughs> the local laundrette uh, from a Sheffield graduate, Richard Hewitt, seems bound to be a winner. No, you can take it away okay. if you're going to insult me. Right. It's a bicycle-powered washing machine for countries with little or no electricity. But can pedal power really get your socks or, for that matter, other things clean? Let's <laughs> stick to socks, shall we? Tom Ingle <laughs> is in Sheffield. He's been carrying out his own test oh. and, believe it or not, <laughs> Tom Ingle is in big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to it, Krista. Look, I'm feeling the burn here on your behalf, trying to get your pants clean. I mean, I, I say I'm feeling the burn, actually, I lie, because Richard, the inventor of the spin cycle, has been pedalling while you've been away for ten minutes, and I've just hopped on for the last minute of glory or so. Krista's pants are in this drum behind me, which is uh, driven off the wheel, which is driven off the chain. It's a beautifully simple idea. Now, we're going to stop. It's going to take us a couple of minutes to get the tub off and get the pants out. So, while we're doing that, you take a look at the spin cycle story. Man rides bike to work, no story. Man rides washing machine, now you're talking. How on earth does it transform into a washing machine? All right, so um, this is in the transport position at the moment. Um, so you simply undo this clip here, you can drop down the frame, and then the frame pivots like this, and the drum can then be lifted onto the back wheel. And now the back wheel drives the drum. That's right. So simple, it's brilliant. And you don't need to get into a lava to get washing. Take off the tub, pop in your pants, add the water and soap which are carried on the panniers, and voila, some ride-on rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. So the inspiration for the project came uh, from a trip to Burundi last year, uh, which is in Central Africa. One of the things I did was go to uh, an orphanage and then uh, basically ended up washing a load of children's clothes. When you're bending over buckets for long uh, amounts of time, you uh, can end up with uh, terrible back pain and also the soaps that they use cause skin irritation. The spin cycle was his answer. He now wants to set up a company to manufacture it in developing countries. He's being helped by a Sheffield-based innovation centre. It's um, a really unusual concept, but it really appeals to us because A, it's for the developing world, um, you know, it's actually taking um, existing technology, but actually applying it in a very, very different way. Enough soft soap. Get pedalling, we told Richard. Go forth and wash for Sheffield. Now Mr Woop was a laundry man in the shop with an old green door. He dying all day, you're linen away. He really I presume it's something to do nice with. It looks like a lottery machine. Would you put your swalls in it? Would I put my swalls in it? I don't know. Not now, but... <laughs> <laughs> I want it on my washing machine. You'd swap your washing machine I'd for this? I'd swap my washing machine for that, definitely. Now, we only stood on the moor in Sheffield for ten minutes, but we could have shifted five spin cycles, so I think I'm definitely going to give up this job here on Look North and become Richard's agent for the spin cycle. I have, however, uncovered a design floor. I don't often like to show you my bottom, but look, I've been getting a bit of a splashback here off the old tub as it's been behind me on the saddle. Anyway, the moment of truth. Let's uh, reach out for Krista Smalls. Uh, I think it's only fair we do a little rinse cycle. We would normally do a rinse, so uh, here we go. Now, I have to say, I cannot see any trace of tea at all. But I think those, after ten minutes in the spin cycle, have come out quite nicely indeed. So, Richard, congratulations. You pass our Look North consumer test. And uh, just don't ask me to do another load, please. <laughs> What a very strange way, Tom, to hand in your resignation. Will you be asking for them back, Krista? <laughs>